Okay, question number four from S1, January 2019, International A-Level. Here we have a frequency table, a grouped frequency table, which tells us about a group of 100 adults and they recorded the amount of time they spent exercising each day. The results are summarized in this table. Okay, so you've got the frequency, you've got the um, interval, the group, and they also put here the midpoint of each of the um, groups for us to help us with something later on, which is quite nice of them. Anyway, so it tells us that a histogram is drawn to represent these data. The bar representing 0 to 15 has a width of 0 0.5 centimeters and a height of 6 centimeters. Calculate the width and height of the bar representing a time of 60 to 120. So you, we, we know the width and, and the height of this bar. Uh, we have to there use the information uh, to find the width and the height of, of this bar. Okay. So what we need to do is uh, we need to find the frequency density of these two. Okay. So the frequency density is the frequency divided by the interval. The frequency density is the frequency divided by the interval. Why do we have to find the frequency density? Because the frequency density is what determines the height of the bar. Okay, and we have to find the height of the bar. So the frequency density of the 0 to 15 is going to be 25 divided by 15. Okay, that will be the frequency density of the 0 to 15 bar. Okay, so you're going to have 25 divided by 15. 25 divided by 15, which gives us 1.67. Let's just call it 5 over 3. Okay, 5 over 3. And the frequency density of the 60 to 20 is 24 divided by the width of the bar here, which is 60. Okay, so 24 divided by 60, which gives us 2 fifths or 0 0.4. Okay, that's 0 0.4. So those are the frequency densities of the two that we're concerned with. Okay, so now we want to... Let's look at, we want to find the, the width and the height of the bar for 60, so 60 to 20. So 60, T, 120. All right, we've got the width. Let's move this down a bit. We've got, uh, we've got the width and we've got the height. Okay, now, um, for the width, we know that for this bar, you have... Um, zero point, how many centimeters was it? Okay, yeah, the, the, this is what we have to find and this is what we know. So what we know here is the zero to 15. We know about the zero to 15 bar. Okay, so the zero to 15 bar, we know that its width is um, 0 0.5 centimeters. So 0 0.5 centimeters represents 15 units. 15 units of width okay and for its height it's six centimeters and the height um, the frequency density is five over three so you can say that five, six centimeters for the height represents a frequency density of five over three okay so if you want to find the width of this one we want to find how many centimeters represents okay a width of 60 units that's 60 units Right, and for the height, we want to know how many centimeters represents 0 0.4 centimeters. Or we can say two-fifths to make it easier to deal with when we're doing the cross-multiplication. Okay, so therefore, we can then use simple cross-multiplication to find the answer. Okay, so we've got a proportion set up. So we know that 0 0.5 centimeters is representing 15 units. How many centimeters represent 60 units? Well, we can just cross multiply. We can say W is equal to 60 times 0 0.5 over 15. 60 over 15 is four, four times 0 0.5 is two. So that's gonna be two centimeters. Okay, is the width of the bar and the height of the bar. We can say the height is equal to six um, multiplied by two fifths. Okay, divided by five over three. Okay, so we're gonna have that's going to be 12 over 5 times 3 fifths. Times 3 fifths, okay, so that gives us um, 36 over 25. 
36 over 25, which gives us 1.44, so the 1.44 centimeters. Okay, and there we have the Okay, so for part B, we have to use linear interpolation to estimate the median time spent exercising by these adults each day. So let's go back to the table. Okay, we've got to estimate the median time spent exercising by these adults. So there's 100 adults. So the median um, position is going to be the 50th position. So we've got to work out in which group does a 50th term lie. Well, you have 25 terms in the first group plus 17, which is going to give you 25 plus 17 is that's 42. Okay, so the 17 that's 25 plus 17 is 42. That's right, just to make sure. Yeah, that's fine. And then 42 plus 28 is 70. So by the time you've got to the end of the last group, you're on the 70th term. Okay, 25 plus 17, 42 plus 28, that's 70. Okay, so that means that um, the median group, the median term lies in this group. Okay, you got to the 42nd term by the end of the second group. You got to the 70th term by the end of the, the 30 to 60 group. So the 50th term must lie somewhere in here. Okay, so we pinpointed where, in which group it lies. So now we've got to work out what it actually is. So we know that the, the median, okay, which is, oops, median, which is known as Q2, okay, is a 50th term in this case because there's 100 entries and it's in the 30 to was it 50 30 to 60 group sorry 30 to 60 group 30 to 60 group so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a little thing to represent um, that particular group okay so okay so there's 30 and there's 60. <coughs> there's our median, which we have to find what it is, Q2. And at the beginning of the group, all together in the group, we have 28 terms. Okay, 28 terms in the group. Okay, we know that from, from this. There's 28 terms in the group, 42nd to the 70th term. Okay, so the 42nd term here and the 70th term here. There's 28 terms in the group. Okay. So the median term is the 50th term in this case because it's 100 um, entries. So that means the median is 8 terms into this 28. So we can say the median is going to be given by 30. So it's more than 30. How much more than 30 is? Well, this fraction of the width of the group. The width of the group is, is from 30 to 60, which is 30. So it's this fraction which is 8 over 28, 8 over 28, multiplied by the width of the group, which is 30. Okay, so that gives us what? Let's see what that gives us. You've got 30 plus 8 over 28, multiplied by 30. And that gives us 38.571. 38.571 dot dot dot. So let's write it to 3SF. 38.6. Okay, that is the median time. 38.6, is it, it must be minutes. Minutes, yes. Okay, minutes. Okay, time exercising. All right, so there we have the answer to part B, using linear interpolation. Okay.